Hey guys, Tom here with CellPhoneTrick.com and today I've got the brand newest contraption for that confangled T-Mobile network, the MyTouch 4G review. Yes indeed, it's awesome, it's got a camera on the back, it's got a camera in the front, a huge touch screen, optical trackpad, and Android 2.2, and I don't know how long I can keep up this voice. So, we're going to actually change from that voice to this voice, and we're going to go ahead and get this review done. So, let's go ahead and get it started. So, as you can tell, here's the MyTouch 4G. We have the forward-facing camera. We have a home screen. Pretty nice. It's got a good feel. Uh, it doesn't feel as cheap, fake, uh, however you want to put it. That low-cost feel like all the other MyTouches did. This has a real high-quality feel to it. A lot more HTC influence in this device than T-Mobile's influence. Um, still, hate this optical trackpad and this genius button can go to hell. Uh, it's just my personal opinion. I hate the genius button. I don't like it. It works less than half the time and I don't like it. Just put a search key there. Let me do my own search. Uh, use Google Voice, you know, go there's Google Voice. I can go ahead and hit a Google Voice button to do a search. I don't need a genius button to do it for me. No, I don't. I'm sorry. Anyways, besides that, we have volume rocker bar, micro USB charging way down there at the bottom. Uh, 5 megapixel autofocus camera with an LED flash. Forward facing camera right here. Oops, look at all this dust I put on it. There's all that craziness. And uh, you can make a call in your programs here. Uh, you quick, your, use quick video chat already preloaded on here. Uh, you can use it as a, a hotspot as well. And uh, let's see what else we got. Uh, we got Rock Band the game on here. Let's go, let's talk about the camera. Camera's pretty cool. Oh, you got your flashlight, a whole bunch of flashlight, Asphalt 5 on here as well, just some other games. But uh, also records uh, video, 720p HD. As you can tell, just super, super awesome quality. And it wants the SD card pre-installed uh, because it's trying to store directly to the card, not the phone. It auto adjusts all on its own. So as you can see, we're moving up and down. It's uh, auto focusing, just super nice. Um, you have your zoom here on the side, digital zoom. And then um, you control your flash. And let's go here. Your resolution, your ISO, blah, your widescreen, geotagging, turn that off. Grid, reset, reset everything to default. And over here, there you go. As you can tell, super nice quality, forward facing camera, one touch button. And then you can go from here to camera to video mode. You can record with forward facing or you can record video using the back using 720p. Uh, let's change this and go into there, go into settings, and it is VGA quality for video. And yeah, re resolution's small. Yeah, so it's VGA quality. So it's only 0.3 megapixels. And uh, here you have your effects you can put in, you know, your distortion. So, whoa, whoa. Anyway, sorry guys. Um, overall, camera, super awesome. Next thing we're gonna have, browser. Love the browser on this device, except I forgot to access the, let's do this again. Let's go into settings, more. Uh, oops, forgot to, you can also connect a Wi-Fi device to this and I'm going to show you how, settings, and Wi-Fi is down here somewhere, I don't see it, so easy way to set up Wi-Fi is you come up in here, you have all sorts of stuff. Hmm, interesting. These are all the recent things that I've gone into as well. So, oh well, 
Internet browser, pinch to zoom, amazing, full HTML, there you go. Um, apparently I've lost access to my Wi-Fi and there's no SIM card in here, so I apologize for that. Uh, call quality in here, when we did test it out, was amazing, crystal clear. Uh, it's just anything, a phone that's gonna cost you $200, Call quality is going to be great. I'm sorry, that's just what it is. And the people that ask continuously, Android market, it's Android 2.2, um, which is very customizable device. Uh, you have all the different uh, modes and your T-Mobile faves and um, all that interesting things. Uh, nothing in here really new that you haven't already seen before, except for Yahoo Mail support. Um, Yahoo Mail uh, and Android have never really gotten along um, natively at least and the fact that I'm seeing this Yahoo Mail this is probably just an Android application already pre-downloaded on here but it's nice to see that um, you can change between your modes that's interesting you have your kid zone um, then you have your home and your work you know a lot of you know little kids like to take mommy daddy's phone and or big brother's phone and it stops them from messaging or dialing and lets them play more on games and apps and things of that nature. So, we'll go home. Quick video chat on here. If you've used Quick before, it's fairly simple. Uh, you can talk to any device except for an iPhone 4. I had a nice long conversation with someone the other day about that, and they just couldn't understand that FaceTime is a proprietary application, only good for other iPhone 4s, and now um, MacBooks and Mac computers that have the FaceTime app. You can now FaceTime Mac computers. But that's it, that's as far as you can go. You can't do anything else. End of that story, thank you. And um, overall, I really, really enjoyed uh, this phone. Uh, it's got a good feel, uh, high quality pictures, high quality video, uh, very smart. Uh, has a good weight to it. And uh, auto adjusts quite well. I don't like the optical trackpad too much. Uh, very quick, extremely responsive. Uh, very little lag. I mean, just great to touch. I have no problem with this device. So you'll see some more videos of this uh, device here sometime in the near future. So this is just our first look review. Again, $199.99 with two-year contract extension. Uh, came out November 3rd. It's uh, T-Mobile again, check them out. Thanks for watching, we're on Facebook and Twitter. Check us out there, Twitter, at Cell Phone Trek, Facebook.com backslash Cell Phone Trek. And again, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.